Good morning. It is 6.15 in the morning and uh, I'm waiting for my transport. Yeah, I'm cutting so you can't see my uniform, but I look super fat like that. Um, yeah, it's been raining all night, but now you can hear the birds. It should be a nice day here, but I'll be on the plane all day. So I'll see you tonight when I uh, come back and I'll tell you about my day. Bye. Hello, YouTube. This is Victor and uh, it is 9.15 p.m. and it's the end of my day, the beginning of my vlog. Uh, today I was flying all day and um, I was at the airport at 7.15 in the morning to meet my crew and we report we all met at 7.45 and uh, for departure at 8.45 and we left on time. Flight time was about three hours and 30 minutes, more or less. Um, and then once we get there, we got there, we flew to one of the Pacific Island. When we got there, um, the ground staff told me we have a very big issue. The island lost, well, there was a fire on the island and then didn't impact the airport or passengers and everybody was safe, uh, but this fire touch the tower that actually is a liaison between the island and the internet and the rest of the world. So there was no more communication between the island and the rest of the world. That means not only us, but I mean there's no, no credit card machine work anywhere on the island, uh, no ATM, no one can make any phone call. The island is disconnected from the rest of the earth. And for the airline, that means no one can check in because they can't connect to the main server. Even the different servers, it's not one on this specific island because it's not the ma major hub for us. So, um, and it can't even phone. That's a problem. So what's happening on board, we've got, uh, we don't rely on um, this kind of communication. We use satellites and we have a kind of email system called ACARS. So uh, our base, ACARS as a list of passengers, but a list is not a full booking. So we might get the name of the passenger, we might get which class of service they're flying. We don't know which seat has been allocated, if they already pre-selected the seat, if they purchase extra bags, if they purchase a meal or movies, and all those details, we don't have it. So that was really the last resource. The system came back and then after 10 minutes went off and then come back for 10 minutes and went off. And each time you reboot, when you disconnect, you have to reboot the computer because there's nothing transmitting on the end, so it blocks the system. So it takes five minutes to reboot the computer. So when I saw it was getting really, really long uh, and we had a long turnaround, usually it's an hour and 15 minutes. Today, I don't know why we were scheduled two hours, so we had a little bit more time. But I went into the boarding area and I saw there was a huge lineup and that was not moving very fast and people were a little bit frustrated. So I went back on the aircraft. All my crew was there waiting, um, sitting, chatting and just waiting for passengers to come. The cabin was ready. I said, guys, let's get water jugs and do a water run in the airport and go and talk to passengers. And it was great because we all went, or 11 of us came with a water jug and paper and cups and then cold water because it was quite hot, it's Pacific Island, and then have a nice chat with passengers, explain why, why uh, no one can check in because many people had no idea about the fire and everything. They just left the hotel, it was fine half an hour before. So we explain and then we create this connection with passengers. So when they got on board, everybody was quite happy and then we arrived. Uh, at 7.29 p.m., so it's quite a long day. Um, everybody thank us and most of the passengers were very happy. So they really proved that if you communicate with people, we already created this connection with them inside the terminal. So they were happy to see us again on, again, again on a plane and that helped also the ground staff. We even look, gave water to the ground staff. We were like checking and working like crazy, didn't get the time to uh, breathe or anything. So we went to thank them for their hard work. And I think it's important. It's teamwork and then as you, if you communicate with your customer that makes much more uh, sense and they have an understanding of what's happening. They're not just in the black and the darkness and have no idea. So yeah, I landed 7.29, everybody get off, get a taxi, got home, just had a quick shower and it's 9.15 and I'm gonna watch a bit of YouTube and sleep and then in 25 hours I'll be at the airport again and I'll be on my way to Shanghai. So on that note, have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.